Okay, hello out there in YouTube land. Greetings and salutations to everyone else in the social media universe. This be your girl, Miss Jenkins. What's up? And I'm coming to y'all with a Lady Anna, Ratty Anna review. For this is to our continuation of Real Housewives of Atlanta, uh, season 12, episode one. I had my plate full throughout the week. So I got to the review, but I didn't really get to the review. We left off at scene seven, so I'm just gonna continue from there. Sorry, y'all, my bad. I'm like, girl, if you if this was a job by now, you'd be motherfucking fired, like, girl. But um, <laughs> today is Sunday, and seeing as we got another Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12, episode two coming up, I want to make sure that I get this one out the way so that my stuff is cohesive and not all over the place. Okay, okay. So we left off on scene seven. Miss Diane, we at Portia's house, by the way. Miss Diane is preparing a plate. That she was preparing to play for Portia, but she couldn't help but fuck up the food. Somebody had mentioned in one of their reviews that, you know, uh, remember back when uh, Portia was married to uh, he who we don't give a damn about, unimportant. And he was saying, like, the mama would be sitting in, in their bed eating a, a box of pizza, you know. And it just kind of make it seem like, girl, you was in that bed eating that box of pizza. But nonetheless, if you got to get your eat on, get your eat on. I'm mad at Miss Diane. Miss Diane is fine as hell. Um, period. And that's on period. Um, Lauren's knocking at the door. And Portia Mama's still fucking up the, these ribs. Talking about one for Portia and one for me, honey. Big old self. So, um, she finally gets to the door, opens the door. Lauren walks in. She sees the flowers all over the place. What's up with this? And the mama's like, I told Portia it looked like a damn morgue in here. Um, but obviously, this is the work of Dennis. He's been sending flowers. What she said? He said like 200, 200 roses was delivered, you know, from yes, yesterday to today. Like, it's crazy, you know. So, whatever with that. Portia finally makes her way downstairs. Um, and, you know, she's a little funny acting really clingy with the baby she don't want lauren to hold her i'm like why the, lauren can't hold the baby lauren ain't got a key to the house like this is just disrespectful not me and my sister not me and my sister period boo unless you got an issue and we need to confront it with that being said um miss diane tells portia portia i made you some ribs uh, portia like i said beef or pork or what is it and she was like girl i think it's steak ribs and that just boiled my baloney because i'm like Okay, so it's beef. Like, girl, or do they say steak ribs in um, Atlanta? Because they do kind of sound a little bit more appeasing than beef or pork ribs. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, we talk about the flowers. And, you know, for Portia, it's a constant reminder that you cheated on me, that you dogged me out. So, of course, Portia, you know, like, it's just a constant re reminder. Every time I look around, I see these flowers and I think about what you did. Whatever. So they're talking about it and you know, Portia, we start talking about Portia going back to work. Portia's like, you know, every time I get up thinking like, gosh, let me get up, let me get dressed. Every time there's an event, anything like, I just can't bring myself to do it. I sit in, in that room and I just can't move. Like, and I get it, girl, you depressed. But while you being depressed, don't be so entitled that you lose your jobs okay thinking oh that people will understand because you're in a public limelight you know like don't do that to yourself get up you did it with cordell or unimportant whatever you want his name to be you did it with him you can do it again okay here's my thing though portia you not you're gonna forgive De dennis you're not going nowhere you're gonna forgive dennis and the reason why is because you are refusing to tell anyone what's really going on in your life regarding Dennis. So what that translates to me is you keeping your business, your business until y'all figure it out. Okay. Which I, I, I love it. I love it. That's what grown women do. Keep people out your business until you figure it out. Cause when it's really over, then we can sit up and kiki and dog niggas out. But up until then, like, let's keep it at that. Let's move on to um, scene eight. Shall we at the OL mother? G, honey, we at the OLG restaurant. <laughs> Girl, we at the motherfucking OLG restaurant. Fist to go down the wrong road, Candy. The wrong road. This what y'all not finna do. What y'all not finna do is play me as if didn't nobody know that this bitch was gonna show up because one, she was mic'd. So I'm not having it. Two, you just so happen to show up on tape and day, girl. Come on. So anyway, with that being said, bitch, I'm gonna just tell the story how. Oh, let me make sure I'm getting to everything. Okay, so we at OLG with Candy, Eva, and Cynthia. The girls sit down to catch up and dish, girl. So, 
when they sit down and start dishing, they order their food. Girl, old, big old pregnant old Eva, big old pregnant old Eva, she like, girl, I want the mac and girl. I wrote it down. She wants some mac and cheese. She wants some sweet potatoes. She wants some, uh, oh, well, what was it? It was like a sweet potato truffle or something like that. Girl, she wants some collard greens, catfish ribs. Girl, <laughs> she was going in. Cynthia's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to have the fried greens and tomatoes. And um, she, the, the waitress asked, like, okay, well, do you want the pulled chicken and the feta cheese on top, or do you want it on the side? Even like, we'll have it on the side. Because if she don't want it, I'll eat it. And uh, it's, I sit there and like, bitch, who is we? Like, what did you talk to me? Gary, you just ordered up the whole motherfucking uh, restaurant. What did you talk to me? We. Girl, give me, let me have my collard greens. Let me have my fried greens and tomatoes and leave me alone, child. So, anyway, I want to get to it. Uh, so. After we finish, you know, Eva, uh, all up in everybody's plates and stuff, someone sends Candy a drink. And Candy's like, I didn't order this. I don't drink. It compliments the bitch over here. The bitch that you told me that to bring over here, yeah, that her. <laughs> Shit, the, the one that you gave me the script and said to bring the drink over here, yeah, her. That's what just the, yeah. So, um... She comes walking up immediately. She introduces herself. Hello, I'm Sincerely, whatever the case. Now, I've seen this girl around before. I believe that I've seen her on WAGS. They said that she got some show. Um, she was on some show, but I didn't quite get it. Um, I think it was like the new ATL or something like that, the new Atlanta, something like that to that effect. But I've seen her on WAGS before. I could, I like, I, I like, I've seen her. I've seen her in a lot, and uh, according to Justin J, she, you know, she's known. She's a, you know, celebutant around um, around Atlanta. You know, she's always with the who's who's, and you know, she's like, she's like Marlo in a sense. Like I'm everywhere, you ain't never there. Okay, um, I don't know if she credit card theft and stuff like Marlo, but yeah, that's another story, girl. I'm over here looking crazy, shot the shingles. Me and my child's father was up drinking last night. And, oof. Mm, 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 mm. It's just bad. But, oh, well, bitch. Uh, didn't nobody tell y'all to look at it. Um, so, anyway. So, she comes and approaches the ladies. And she just wants to clear her name. She's like, I don't want to be known as, you know, some old tacky-ass, nasty, you know, broad who's running around here ruining people's families and all that old kind of stuff. Um... So she wanted to make it clear that I don't know this nigga, I ain't this nigga, and I don't want to be with this nigga. Like, this is some other shit that they got going on that don't have nothing to do with me, so I just want to clear my name. Uh, so with that being said, Eva's like, well, what, did, did you call? Like, have you reached out to Portia with this? Like, because I'm like Eva. Like, Eva breaks the fourth wall all the freaking time. <laughs> She breaks the fourth wall all of the time. But her thing is, why? Like, it's like, yeah, why are you here talking to us about this? You know, why aren't you talking to Portia? I, obviously, Eva wasn't uh, let in on the joke, honey. So she didn't know what the hell was going on. Um, now, after all of that being said, Eva says, I think we should tell Portia. You know, we got something we need to talk to Portia about. All things considered, yes, y'all's heart was in the right place. It was positivity. It was positivity. So, you know, y'all was willing to serve it. And um, Candy's whole thing is, bitch, I'm not doing none of that. Bitch, I'm not trying to go down the wrong road, the wrong road, the wrong road. So, no, I'm not going to keep my name at the fuck out of it is how she, the fuck she felt about it but whatever girl i mean i get it i i get it let's move on because we've got so much more to cover scene nine girl this is baby brooklyn's coming out party honey um Portia don't feel like going you know but she got to get out the house and you have been in the house too long girl the circles around your eyes are getting real dark and you need to get sunlight asap uh kenya's getting baby brooklyn ready getting her together girl she got diamonds on her she draped up and dripped out honey uh, uh that old uh brooklyn honey real diamonds boss um kenya mentions mark 
but Mark is just not present, not you guys. Like, he's got shit to do, okay? Period. And that's on period. Uh, Cynthia's girl, so now we're getting into the, 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 the Barbies because it was a Barbie-themed party, okay? Because for Kenya, her baby is a living doll. And she is. She's perfect. But anyway, child Cynthia come through with that old thirsty wedding Barbie. Eva's rocking the workout Barbie girl with the baby bump and toe, not giving a damn. Candy is the rock star Barbie, honey. Brooklyn, um, oh wait, Kenya. Kenny said, bitch, I'm Kenya Barbie. And Portia was holiday Barbie. And I was like, you and Kenya both holiday Barbies, so technically you could be Portia Barbie if you want to since we just changing shit up. But okay, girl. Um, they got baby Brooklyn coming, rolling her through. Girl, it was so tacky. It irritated my soul. They had her, they was pushing her little Barbie car through. And I'm thinking to myself, Kenya, don't you know that you can get a remote control car like to where you can control your baby's, you know, movement while they're in the car? Girl, you y'all got all this money, y'all not with the shits. Like, but we'll learn. You a first time mommy. You'll learn. Cause I'm sure before that you wouldn't give a damn about no uh baby cars and none of that bull stuff. So anyway, um, Kenya was actually happy to see Portia, and I thought that was interesting. You know how everybody was just so cool. Um, now, let's get to it. Eva sits down. Everybody's all sat down, and we're all, you know, together now. And it is a party for, it is a kid's party. So, when Portia asks Eva, why didn't you bring the babies? And Eva says, because I don't know Kenya like that and you know how these situations go down these events I didn't feel comfortable with bringing my child is that fair it's absolutely fair here's the thing here's the thing here is the thing you guys we all are at this we're all here at this point with Kenya where we're like okay but we have to, those of us who don't fool with Kenya, we have to give her the benefit of doubt. We have to allow her to exhibit the change that she claims that she is. So I just think that it's unfair for Eva to judge Kenya off of a one-time situation. Like, yes, when she came that was your first time meeting her. Other than that, you don't know her. This happened last season. She came at the last episode. Uh, I think Cynthia was throwing a party and Candy had invited uh, Ke Kenya. Kenya came through baby in tow, honey, in the tummy. And um, it was a little bit of a mess, just a little bit of a mess. And my thing is, I feel like you've heard so much about Kenya. You, you're, you're putting yourself in a fan's point of view right now and saying, well, I didn't want to bring my kids because I don't know. And Kenya made a good point. Well, what the fuck did she think I was going to do? Snatch my ponytail off and beat her and her babies with it? Like, what did you think was going to happen? Even if there is a little conflict, which there was. Like, this is a kid's party, and these women are upper echelon. They're not going to be sitting, even though Candy did cuss in front of the babies, but that was it. You know what I mean? Once she was reminded that there were kids there, she got snapped back into her, her, uh, her, her common sense. But at the end of the day, with all things considered, Eva, I just felt like that was whack. I just felt like that was whack. Like, there's babies here, you know, and maybe you didn't want to have to handle all them babies and you pregnant and stuff like that but like you made it problematic so now we got an issue with you and I'm team Kenya period like I'm all for change I'm all for a whole new world honey and I didn't hate Kenya that much when she was on the show I live for Kenya so move with that being said you guys I'm gonna wrap up this video this will be the conclusion to our part three I will be setting up part four right now but um, I got to get these videos out. So uh, I will see y'all later in a, in a minute. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm.